what is a SEP IRA or IRA? Basically, a SEP account is a simplified employee pension. And so essentially, any business can set this up. It's the idea was the IRS want to give smaller businesses an easy way to set up a retirement plan for their employees. And so it's essentially, it, it would be 25% of an employee's compensation or 58,000 for 2021 up to a cap, essentially, that a, a business can contribute to this plan, essentially. And so uh, that's just a couple scenarios that I think are kind of interesting here. So if I am a sole proprietorship, uh, I have a, uh, I have a, you know, let's say I'm a, I'm an author. Uh, I write books and I have a business for that. Um, I don't have any employees. Um, you know, the only people that work for me are on some kind of contract or what have you. That means I can just use this as a really kind of a super saver program just for myself. Uh, correct. I mean, I don't have any employees that I have to put money in for. Yeah. So essentially you could just make sure that your whatever you're, it's only set by the business can contribute. So you can essentially set it so that you always hit the max for that, that each year. And so people that set up SEPs and are aggressive with it can save a bunch of money so much faster than just, you know, from general 401k, because for a 401k, you can only defer up to much less money, 20, I think it's 20,000 or 19,500. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. With the catch-ups and such, you can get to, I think, 26500 uh, But that's a lot less than 58000 uh, So that's a huge differential in terms of somebody is really trying to put money away uh, into, you know, retirement plans. So now if I have employees, uh, if I put away 10%, uh, it's basically 10% for everybody. Is that right? Kind of across the board. Yeah. So you'd have to go for equal contributions. And so... When it comes to setting up these like benefit plans, there's ways that you can set it up um, to make sure that you, wa you want the money to go to the right spot, but there's a lot of variations you have to do. And so with a SEP, it's always equal, but with other programs, you can set it up. So maybe someone that's only been there five years has a certain amount of percentage that goes, that's matched essentially, while you, because you've been there for 20 years, you get a way bigger match. So oh, there's so a lot of- you can set up some criteria for who gets it and and who doesn't or how much they get and what have you okay that's pretty useful yeah so there's a lot of creative things you can do but which plan you set for your small business differs based on your kind of wants yeah that's awesome yeah there's a there, one of the things to get good at uh you know if you're trying to really be proficient in your knowledge base uh, is all of these different types of programs, you know, 401ks, 457s, 403bs, IRAs, you know, of all types, there's SEP IRAs, there's simple 401ks, there's Roth IRAs, all of these things. There's a bunch of these and it gets confusing, uh, but just trying to, you know, it, it, consult with somebody and make sure that you're using, you know, the, the right ones. If you're putting money away, you know, if you can't save, that's one thing, but if you are saving, uh, you know, where's the best place? Where's the best place to put that money? Sometimes it's not even a retirement plan. It's just a regular account, a joint account or a trust account. And those types of things could be the right situation. It does depend on, you know, your overall scenario, but, but making sure that you're putting the money in the right places. I mean, it's not that easy to save. Most people don't. Uh, so if you're one of those people that is, uh, figure out the best place to put it. And I think that is one of the key pieces, you know, that we help with also, because it's custom. Your, you know, generic information about where to put your money may not be right for you uh, because your situation is maybe different than what they're talking about on average. So, um, uh, you know, when you want to retire and all of these things factor in. Uh, and so SEP IRA is a really, really good tool uh, and it's something to put into the basket of things to think about if you're in the right situation.